we are going to start with a practical in a practical way we are going to explore the azure portal so i hope you all have created a azure portal account so whenever you will log in the portal.azure.com this particular screen will come now let's explore this okay now if you can see in the left side we have one uh, one logo that is a microsoft azure okay after that we can see the azure services from here you can create a uh, resources like whatever the resources you want to create and the second option is like all resources whatever the resources you will create here you will get to see once you will go to the all resources okay and after that you can see the virtual machine storage account sql database these are the options are available so you can directly create and you can directly go to the particular service if you want to create okay on the bottom if you will see we have our resources so i have already created one resource that's why it is showing here but suppose if you want to create any resources you can create from here okay and after that we have a navigate option like where the subscription all resources dashboard these things are available now if you see here there is one option for the cloud shell if you want to use any kind of the scripting and all so that actually a uh, you can do from here if you will click here when the cell will open from there also you can monitor all the services and after that we have a directory and the subscription related details after that we have a notification in notification whatever the service you will create right whether it's completed or not so that is the information you will get from here after that we have a settings option and all okay now now if you see in the logo microsoft azure in the left side we have an icon icon okay now if you see here we have a home dashboard all services all resources the sql database azure cosmos db virtual machine all the services information are available so if you can directly if you want to create a virtual machine you can directly create from here or uh, suppose you want to create a sql database you can directly create from here okay the another way is like there is search, search option is there so here if you will search any kind of the services you can directly search from here also like azure data bricks azure data factory azure database and all so this all the things actually if you already aware about the services and you want to search that actually can be done from here anyway we will do a practical where we will create a services there we will get more information now actually what actually we are going to do today is like we are going to explore the azure storage okay so if i will type azure storage you can see one icon right storage accounts let's click on that okay once you will click this particular window will come where actually the option is coming like create a storage account i'm going to create a storage account okay so once you will click here first it will ask the subscription okay so this is my the subscription details a if you will create a free subscription the free subscription details will come here okay after that we have to create one resource group for creating a resource group it's very simple just click on this uh, create new and after that we have to give the name any resource group name and we have to click on the okay after that the resource group will be created okay okay if we will do that the resource will get created i have already created one resource group here okay now in the bottom if you see it is asking like what is the storage account name so as of now i am going to create a make sure you have to give a, a unique name okay otherwise it may give you error so that's why you have to give a storage account name after that it is asking a reason on which reason actually you want to create so based on the your reason specification you can select i am going to create on the us east us okay after that it is asking for the performance whether you want to go for the standard or premium premium will be charge more but if you want to go for the low latency kind of the system you can create from here 
now you can see in the standard it is showing like recommended for most scenario like general purpose v2 account what is this general purpose v2 account general purpose v2 account is like uh, latest uh, general purpose v2 account previously we had a general purpose v1 account and also blob storage account but this general purpose v2 account contain all the feature which is uh, important which is necessary for the general purpose okay now if you can see the redundancy you can see the, like uh, here we have option like we can select like we have four option one is a locally re redundant storage lrs and then we have grs jrs and gzrs this lrs is like lowest cost option with basic protection against servers lag and the drive lag failures so you can see there are the so many um, option these four options are available and the description is also available but for my purpose i am just using a, a geo redundant storage okay okay after that we have to click on the next once you will click on this next option okay here it is asking like whether the blob public is should be access it should be public access should have or not so these are the configuration it is asking and in the bottom it is asking like data lake uh, storage generation 2 it is giving information about the blob storage if you want to enable SFTP preview and all that you can do it but I am going with the default setting after that it's coming as a networking in networking also if you want to disable a public access and all if you want to use as a private then that that all the things actually you can do from here and after that it is asking like network routing and all okay I am going with a default as of now after that the data protection if you want to protect your data so we have a different options are available but as of now i am going with a default i don't want uh, i am going with a default option only after that if you want to encrypt with a cmk or mmk so that actually you can do it from the here but right now i am not doing i am just going with a default after that you can uh, give a name Okay, and after that review and the create. You can review whatever the option you have selected. Okay. If you can see here running final validation, the validation is passed now. Now you can see we can click on the create button. Once you will click on the create button, if you can see here the one notification window, the this this is already started. You can see like the submitted the deployment means one storage account is getting deployed once so this is the account which we have created a POC data storage account right so it is in progress state once it will complete we will explore more about this we have to wait it for we have to wait it to be completed okay so you can see all the it is in progress and the resources is getting created so all the information we can see here we just have to wait for one to two minutes it will be completed and once it will complete you will get a notification from here and also here also you will get to see the notification okay we just have to wait okay now you can see one notification can, came like deployment succeed it means the deployment is completed now you can directly go to resources from here okay so so i have opened the my storage account so this is the particular window once you will click on the storage account now in the left side you can see the overview option okay in the overview option whatever the location whatever the subscription you have this all the information you can see here and the, it will also tell you about the blob services file services and all and now after that we have activity log option it means log level details and all you can see and after that if you want to give any kind of the access that actually you can handle from the iam okay now coming to this uh, data storage okay so in a storage account generally we have a four type okay 
this four type actually can divide into four category one is the container that we actually call it as a blob storage the second is the file share third is the queue and fourth is the table so let's understand what is this container what these four things okay first is the container and we can say it like as your blob also so whenever you have any kind of a requirement where you want to store a unstructured kind of the data unstructured means suppose any kind of the movie any kind of the music any kind of the document you want to save so in that purpose we will go with the azure blob okay the second option is like azure file so suppose you are working in organization your team is available in a different location suppose someone is available in us uk canada and all and they want to access the particular file which is common means everyone want to want the access for the same file so in that kind of the scenario we actually use a azure file where we actually store a file and everyone can access from there so that actually we, in that kind of scenario we use a azure file the third is the azure queue this is generally we use it for the messaging suppose uh, any kind of the um, suppose you are using a google pay paytm any kind of the transaction so multiple you people use at the same time so in that kind of the scenario we want a faster processing we want to process all the things at a time okay in that kind of the scenario we generally go for the azure queue and finally we have a azure table so no sql kind of the data actually we use azure table but this is the older but now we actually use a cosmos db which is available so that actually things we will see later okay so these are the four things which we can uh, explore now after that it is showing the security option and the data management what we are going to do is now <coughs> we will click on this container once you will click on this container there is one plus button right click on this plus button i am going to create one storage account with the name of the raw and after that we can give up access okay and we just have to click on the create you can see this is very simple like to create uh, any kind of the container it is nothing but it is kind of the folder which has been created and after that if you want to uh, uh, upload any kind of the file there is one option like upload if you will click here and if you want to select any kind of the file you can select it and you can upload it okay so that is how actually it is very simple means you can create a multiple storage based on the your use case and you can upload any kind of the file okay again you will click on this home page and again you want to go to that storage account if you see in the recent item right the poc data store recently we have created that option came just click on that you will go to this particular screen in the container you can create a multiple container based on the your requirement you can upload the file in upcoming lesson we are going to upload a file here and uh, we are going to see like how actually we can process that file and all 